Yeah, this was the map that when VP came onto it, they looked out of it. They were done. G2 steamrolled them in the head-to-head. -head. So let's get this underway. G2 gonna start things off over on the CT side. Oh, and it's contact immediately. Monacy out with the first. VP running it down towards this A site. James gonna try and hold on to the back line, but Nico. Oh, Nico, there's that form we're talking about. Two kills to start strong in the pistol. James will get one in through the flank. Hooksy now dead. So as G2 move in, can they flush out this site man? Nexus seems to think so. Norbert deleted, and they know where James was. He can't do a thing. Minute left to play with. And James being cut out of the round. Surely a dead man on this first peak. Next a spot here, Jay gets it down in the 1v1, but no further. Well handled, well stopped out of G2. Looking for this split into Hunter and Hooksy. Yeah, Hunter might be the guy who stands and delivers here. Run out, deals with Flit on the okay. opener, but they move swiftly through. They're gonna overrun Hunter with just the one and done. Hooksy does what he can to at least keep the numbers even, but with Nico tagged up earlier on. G2 are gonna need someone else to pull this back from the brink. This first rifle round for VP was looking to come through as Monacy just complicated matters. Oh. It's a good flash, but Norbert holds the line. Run through by Nexa, and once again, it's Jame in the clutch. Couldn't manage it in the pistol, fell short there. That molly, gonna force a swing from Jame and into the hands of Nico, he goes. Three rounds in, but that's two lost clutch attempts from the captain of BP. But Hunter is a real X-Factor piece in this round now. This is such a powerful position to own. Oh, oh, not even needed. They still don't know about Hunter here. Monacy teed up the info given across. I can't believe he's still even peeking. He's just so confident it's not necessary. Hunter makes a move and he hunts down fame. G2, they're everywhere right now. Nico with a late swing in middle and one by one VP, they fall. It's just Jame and Norbert left with nothing to do but die. Can't win this round and they know it. It's nice to see Nico in this form because so many teams will like to play multiple players mid on CT side, right? Have that A support player. But what G2 do is just leave Nico in middle on his own very late in the, in the round as well. He's holding on to his util, he's making self flash plays. For G2, they've moved Nexa off. Monacy is still nearby. No, he's going to hear these footsteps, but it's the mid split he got, he's got to worry about. Nexa is still stuck in the back line. Hurrying up to reinforce that A site. Exec comes in, VP come out. A shot connects. And with a bit of help from Nexa, this A play is made quick work of. Nexa, head on a swivel. They will pick up Nico down there in dark, but quickly reinforced, quickly dealt with. Hooksy moves in. And there is no denying that G2 have come into this matchup confident. It was never going to happen with pistols there. So VP lose their timing, and they will save one gun. Smoke in the way of Monacy, but he's got back up. Oh, they know he's through. They break the smoke. Good move for the flashes. Perfection. Oh, oh. Yeah. that's a miracle, all right? James sets him up to succeed, and now VP. They slow it right down. They got full control. Mears inside of a Molotov. It's actually going to start ticking but not enough to take him down. Another nade on the smoke. Mir is not worried. It's only Nexa alone. The bomb can't commit there. VP is still very split up right now. Two still heading towards B. Mir finds the gap. And this backstab. Oh, Hunter just turns around. He can sense the prey. And now this one's leveled out into the three on three. Oh, what? Clean drive by from Norbert. It's done. And Hooksy's backing up out of there. 
Might still give it a go, but he needs Nexa to get involved. Moving out through Temple, Nexa looks to do exactly that. Chain's been spotted, they know they've got him pinned in at the site, and that Mac 10 from Main is not going to be too helpful for Vertus Pro. This one could still get wild while well, they go clear dark. That's what they have to do right now, and with Flit securing that kill, there's no more chance for G2. No more opportunities, Norbert will close. And so VP, it takes them a while, but they finally arrive on this T side, and it's thanks to Mir in middle. James has rejoined this B side play. With Monacy holding the line down in the con, he doesn't miss those. And once you learn about this orb, that might give you a, a moment of pause here. Committing into the Monacy AWP is far from ideal for Virtus Pro, and they know it, so they're relying on Fade, trying to bring some aggression over towards this A site, but it's just the one and done that will at least rotate Monacy out of position. It's exactly what VP wanted, it's exactly what they needed, but do they know that Hooksy never left? Anchored alone in the dark, he can stop that bomb, he takes two kills, oh. and Monacy wall bangs the plan. Money made, but at what cost for VP? You want to talk glow-ups for players? Norbert has been on the tip of your tongue, but Hooksy's individual res uh, you know, resurgence cannot be forgotten about. He's hitting different. You two are almost saying it's like Hunter go huge or or we don't go for this round. Nico is pulling himself over towards this B site right now, but with the plant in for Virtus Pro, this next duel matters a hell of a lot. And together, hey. Nico and Hunter cook up a kill. In comes that Monacy AWP. G2 are right back in this, from a man down to a man up in the retake. And with Fane dead, a new hero has to rise, or this one will be forgotten about for Virtus Pro. No smoke. He needs to get it down now. James not been able to post the clutch yet. They tap the bomb. Peek oh. out, and Monacy is clean with it. That Molly would have won the round. He just wants one kill to thin the herd. He doesn't want to get it in too early and give G2 the chance to stick in the final second. He needs a kill, a Molly on the bomb, and that clutch is his, but Monacy denies immediately. This kid doesn't miss, we know that. You know, coming into this, we were saying this is a this is an emotional matchup for VP. Into an inferno, 13-11 close. G2 were never meant to be given a chance, but now on a new day with new stakes, G2 make their claim. Monacy finding fame in a main, and we got that bomb again petering out. Monacy is very comfortable on this line. Her shot misses, but he's out of there. They are trying to close the gap and move in on Monacy, but oh, no. easier said than done. Another missed shot, but there it is. third time. That's the charm for Monacy. Nexa lends a helping hand and ends that rotate from middle. Nico roaming around the map. But Flit right now is one and four in her opening duels. It's not enough. VP need more. They need this five on four. Let's the A side they go. It's just Nico and Nexa here. Fame provides that opener that BP were looking there for. It is. And Norbert runs down Nico up in the heavens. G2 have been willing to throw themselves into these man down retakes, but surely 3v5 is too far gone. And with money on the line, this wouldn't be the right call for G2. They can play to contain, try and take some players out of the end, but by and large, there's no way you should be retaking this round. This is wild from Fame, getting aggressive. Hootsie tries to turn and contain them. We'll get locked out. This is a very aggressive hunt from VP. It is a very uncomfortable position. But VP are here for a reason. They're here for revenge. VP have done a good job of securing these forward oh. positions, but a great flash. That's a free kill for Hunter. And mid looks clear. But Mir, who's done nothing since that double kill round that got VP on the board, has to replicate that here and now. As VP set their sights on middle, Molly will flush Nico out and into the open. A missed shot from Monacy. A mid taken, but they pay the price for it. Oh, no! He hits it! The 
Ollie lands, but there's nothing VP can do with this damage. Hunter's even closing the gap on the flank. He jumps too soon. VP going back, and finally G2 dropped the ball. They'll pay the price. Kamir catch this rotation, though. He needed that. Everyone's low. Hooksy can win this on his own. Essential 1v3, and he's got it in the palm of his hand. Hooksy holds strong. And G2 don't stop. Explosive BXQ, VP sticking to simple stuff once again. Held back by the util initially, but they're gonna start moving through it now. Monacy, smoke blowing open, they will find him. Oh. They need more with Hunter holding the four. It's a double up, run out by Fame. Nice. And so G2, finally, Virtus Pro could look to break their money here and now. If G2 throw their selves into this retake and come up short, they are broke. Shame holding the line on this AW. Oh. Nails the oh. shot to Nico and for Nexa. It's a losing battle and he knows it. Moving in, first kill found. That will interest him. The VP don't budge, don't move. A muscle, another and a missed shot from James AWP. Nexa has to run at him, has to charge at James. And even though he gets all the kills, the glory is for his pros. They win that round by the skin of their teeth. Quite the opposite, Mir, his second time ever on a stage since the Gambit days, and he is going absolutely ice cold, as well as top performer Flit at the bottom of the server. VP need a pistol round, or this one's cooked, and G2 have threaded the needle. Look at this call, sending it all the way through to B. Flit makes a nice move, they go around the wall, oh they're running into the stack, into the trap, the lions are waiting in the den, and VP with three in CT, they send a fourth as well. Oh. Don't give this away. A 2-1-5, G2 take a slice, but Flit should be here to end it. Dropping the bomb will do exactly that. And Hooksy might be doing uh, pretty well, but expecting him to win this one on three, well, that's wishful thinking. Jiggling for info, they remain active. There's that spot, now everyone sets up. Virtus Pro looking to long out G2's map pick and a pistol round could be a nice start. Cleanly done, and it's Flit who does a lot of the heavy lifting there, right? Three kills from him in the pistol. Oh, Flit flashed through the Lurk Smoke at B. So two similar but opposing ideas there meeting over at long and G2 come out ahead but as Hooksy yeah. tries to lurk this Norbert has them right where he wants no. them looking away awkward timing the B site has fallen VP are already saving that's a disaster he hears a molly down lower that makes him turn but it's smoked off he had the perfect position to find a double kill and even the save is not guaranteed Exa looking the wrong way and so VP assured on some guns, perhaps. The ball has to cross in oh, middle. Wait, oh, wait. oh no! no. That uh -oh. is disastrous. VP, they didn't even want to attempt this. They were going to take the upgrade. They were going to save. But they have been gifted a reason to go for the round. With control of the bomb, everyone from G2 has to come back. You do not want to give up a 5v3 like this with a bit of a misstep, leaving that bomb at the T-stairs. He doesn't know oh where to look, dear. but he gets back just in time. It's quickly getting away from G2. They can't quite believe that this could be the way back in. And from where they had to go get the bomb, Mir has tried to take this timing, regain control over B. He won't beat Hunter to it. And he won't be able to stop this bomb crossing, but considering this was meant to be a save for Virtus Pro, and now they have a very oh, oh, oh. real chance. It's just Nico left up in the clutch. And no. with too much to do, he's overrun. 3v5 out of Virtus Pro. That is an undeniable mistake. That is the end of the line for Hooksy. He prioritizes speed over safety and takes that bomb through middle. Not T-spawn. 
and Miz mid push wins it. I mean, Nexus saw them saving. They the cool that was the call. They're done. VP won't be in middle. Thanks, Hooksy. And look at what it cost them. A three versus five. Yeah, that's one of the most tilting rounds you could have had. I, I think that's just the the perfect way of putting it. You you did everything oh, right. Nico. You did everything right. Right up until it came down to actually finishing the round. You did all the work to get there. You're trying to make up for it now on the low buy. But a quick response down in dark at a flit. And VP are looking re-energized here. Hunter is trying to be a difference maker. And right now he is making a difference. If G2 can forget about that round by picking it up with Tech Nines here, that brings them right back in and it's all Hunter. Been waiting for him across this entire event, across the release of CS2, but he shows up now and he's given G2 a fighting chance. Oh. Monacy, it's ugly, but he will get that kill. It's done. And there's no attempting this for Flint. So G2, a huge sigh of relief. As they make up for the severe misstep of that last round. And it's all thanks to Hunter, a big game player looking to prove that. And a big round. I mean, that how the hell does that come through for G2? Nico's the one gun, and he gets shot over the smoke, and then Hunter just comes through with a triple entry. They know they're running out of time. Monacy posted on this AWP, takes an aggressive lead, and that is a free kill on the opening. Flit left is the sole B site defender, and when it's Flit left standing, you know where he is. Hooksy blows that smoke open. Mir now tries to take up arms, but he's one man versus the hordes of G2, and Hooksy doubles up to make this one happen. Statement game from Hooksy. He's had a couple of you know, very impactful multi kills in this map. And these guns are all VP have to, to withstand what could be their final round on Anubis here. If even one of them gets removed, that is a disaster. Here we go. Next, uh, trying to knock out one, but he won't get there in time. Regardless, that commanding lead that G2 held, they'll maintain. They would look to really legitimize that. It wasn't down to a broken VP mental. And it was off the back of a dominant CT side, the same as last time as well. So G2 making it clear they've got something to say. Can fame stop what feels to be destiny for G2? The close on this A site. Monacy gets that trade inside of the Molotov. James, he's here finally with a chance. Yeah, actually gets to play around. What? Oh my, he never even peeks. Through the wall. And when Monacy's doing stuff like that, when he's forcing respect out of James, this one does not feel set for Burtis Pro to ever get back into. They get mauled by G2 on Anubis. No contest, not close. And with just Jane left standing, one kill away from a done deal on this opener. G2 stand it, and they do not let Virtus Pro bring this one back or even get competitive. G2 are not messing around. The usual cast are all here with strong performances across the board from G2 to open up. Uh, G2 have never lost this series, never lost this head-to-head, -head, and they say today is not the day, not in Chengdu. Oh, a bit of a read out of G2 in the pistol. They start four strong down towards this lower site, and with Nico in connector, that rotate is going to be quick. It may as well be five players down here at B, and as Virtus Pro move in, they will go right into this stack. Nexa withstands, and now with flashes Ooh. in and around him, he is the sole defender left actually in the site. With Nico dead back oh. in con, there's an option to change your mind, but Nexa might remove that entirely. He's got the bomb trapped in here at Monster. G2 keep it even. Grouping now for the connector. This timing for Hooksy is everything. While he clears the map, they get closer. To whose benefit does this work? Hooksy in the open, dead immediately. And that's opened up the path to A. Well, next is going to need the ace clutch if he wants to do this. Better one-man army in the pistol so far. 
But is this the end of the line? Even Jay Bates here lets Vehicle in the sight so we can rotate B if Nexa was here, just in case that gambles in. But Nexa's walked every step of the way. The level to what they've played passively in this pistol round is insane. If he had a kit, they wouldn't be able to stop him defusing the bomb, but those are all if buts and maybes and Nexa. One thing's absolute, even as he gets these kills, there's no win in the round. Mir locks him out of it, and it's a big start from Mir. Very good job of maintaining the util, right? 35 seconds left on the clock, and Nico is just waiting for when and where to place this smoke, and he's about to lob that in now into the bathrooms. First kill secured. When that smoke in their way, this is a, a very tricky round now for Virtus Pro. Need fame. Another kill out of Nico with fame dead. It's a done deal. VP can't even justify attempting this one. The util is enough to lock them out of it. If one thing is already clear from these first four rounds of play, and from what we've seen in this matchup already, it's the G2 are keenly aware of what they're up against and how they want to stop it. This is a more standard bathroom crawl here for VP, trying to play early for a change. And when you get that kill, you just know to go. Yeah, with Monacy dead, rotates scrambling on towards upper. G2 are already in a bad shape, but that bomb being so far away, VP weren't quite ready for the pace change. And so Norbert's got to begin a very lengthy rotate here. That means for now, these three players for VP have got to hold the line, and it doesn't pan out for Flit. There's still legs on this round. Fame tries to draw it back in a VP's favor. Nice. Getting out with that kill and a well-placed nade from Norbert. Gets rid of the danger that lurked in this round for Virtus Pro. There we go. There's the mastermind, James, realizing exactly how to solve that issue. He notices that G2 stalled him out in these rounds so far. No, you're not. I mean, it was a, it was a way faster round across the board, right? And that is VP learning from their mistakes, both in the one round that G2 found here, but also from the last time these teams matched up back in Copenhagen, right? Hooksy, last line of defense down on B, desperately calling for these rotates. They get up into the heavens, and they drop through to lend a helping hand. Hunter now posted over towards the barrels. Are they ready for him to be here so quickly? This is facilitated because of the push from Nico. And so he arrives in good timing. Backstab on a chain. VP now know about the flank, but is that going to be enough as Hooksy continues to hold the line? Did all he had to in defense of this B site, did Hooksy. And now it's down to Monacy and Nico. Names alone, these are the two players you want here if you're G2. But will they offer up the goods? First challenge is Flit on this short side, Ouch. and Nico will get rid of him. Only mere left standing. The most limited experienced player on the stage for VP. Will he crumble under the pressure, under the weight of Nico? Kid no retrieved, but no round. Mir takes it to time. And Nico even falling to the bomb blast. Everybody dies. At the uh, opening stage of the round, they know about Monacy, they have no clue. Nico lies here and wait. He gets his kill on fame, and Jame just sells him down the river, wants nothing to do with this one. Oh, who sees a connector even covering? Norbert makes a crazy play as that smoke blooms. And VP. Given a little looser round for G2, it comes at a cost. Oh dear, that jump! If Flit just swings, that's his kill. No way he goes through it again. Whoa. Oh! Didn't clear him! Nexa gets out scot free, one HP remaining. One HP the difference. And, like, that's a save, really. Uh, VP going to call it this early. They're going to hang around, but their money is in a bin. Despite these wins, it's come down to a couple surviving. It's going to free up a third for A. That's exactly what G2 need right now. Completely done for Nico on the opening. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Can't quite find him. Much 
shot. Even though he brings him low, you really needed that trade. Oh, oh Nico holds ready on for, for it. Shane tries to punish on the jump up. Oh, might need to they move. really want to deal with Nico. They really want to get rid of him. And even though they do eventually, they're so wounded, they're so hurting. It's an easy round for G2 to close. And so this one is repelled from the long side, from Nico with that double. Well, after time would be devastating for Mia. So he won't come swinging. Hussey takes a gun and he gets out. What a play for Nico to be ready for the jump up there when James tries to fake him by flashing the smoke. It's very heads up play for Nico. Gets both his kills. And then wins the round essentially off that. BP is just desperately trying to. Wow, that was in the air. It even landed. And comfortable. Fake on the top side. Fame's just going to die for the cause. Nico's going to get that info nice and easy as he runs right by. And this fake will do nothing for G2 still. Nico lets him in. But that other player's rotating B. They know what's coming. Everyone in the right place at the right time for G2. Ouch. Lock finds Nexa. And so Monacy's going to do oh. it. Can't hold on. TikTok. Ruxi, there's so little time left. One kill on Jame, and that would win them the round. And he knows it. Oh! Nico even takes the fight. <laughs> and for a moment, Hooksy was scared, scared that that might have been thrown away. But G2 are able to withstand it. Oh, unnecessary. But it doesn't matter when you nail it. Nico, all the risks, through the smoke with a second on the clock, and he still wins that fight. Unbelievable. Oh, oh you saw the fear yeah. creep into him. He knew he'd won it. It's only Hooksy here. No support. Maybe this flash could do something. Oh, but he whiffs a spray. Five on three for VP. Monacy still nearby. Hunter's even moved up as well. Faith. Oh, dear. You really want this kill while you've got him boxed in. But no chance to get it. I wonder if VP changed their mind at all. They spotted the AWP earlier. They've just heard an M4 fire off, but they want to stick to their guns here. They learn the AWP is still in play up on the top side, but as they come to this realization, they've given up control of B. And so that kind of forces them into Monacy, oh. forces them in to this AWP. And Monacy's got the ball rolling. He's a very tough guy to stop once he's got hot hands. And Monacy right now, oh. they're scorching! The third kill! Bomb away from Virtus Pro, and in the final few seconds, that kill from Flick could matter the most. They, now they have to get past Hunter, who sits bottom of the board for G2, but he slows them down enough. He buys enough time. There's no winning this for Flick. Hunter and Monacy have robbed VP in that round. They earn it by blood. That is a heater indeed, Monacy. What a monster, what a flick, and just enough for Hunter. It's not pretty, but it's around, and G2 are back in this game right now. The crowd loves it. They were 6-1 down. Well, I hope they don't completely mirror it. There's still Inferno in the pocket. Chance for an even scoreline, that's huge for G2. There was never a one where you thought this was yeah. possible, and now they're right there. Now they're looking to lock that in, and they will. Five straight for G2, and an even half locked in. Mirror your performance from Copenhagen. They're able to, to show they've learned from that and take it one step further, this time besting them 2-0. and oh. Obviously, back at the, uh, the major, it went to overtime here. Oh, Dolph with the Julies. Oh, oh. I mean, there's no doubting this guy over towards Monster. A, a phenomenal player in this position is Norbert. And so he opens up in the pistol. Oh. Mir can't stand the test of time. It's Nico to tap him out, but the backstab from Flit sticks to the landing. Fames even flanking all the way through Monster. But right now, it's Nico for G2 making what? all the difference. Nico, one more man left to fight him. It's this monster flank that he's not ready for. Oh, oh, no oh. one is. And just next oh, to Fame. 
A big hat trick on the backstab and a pistol round saved. Vipia three strong on top. But it, here's the thing, if, if G2 get an entry, if this Tech Knight rips Fame's head off, not only are you getting closer, you're getting guns gifted, you're getting armed as well. Support is here, Fame doesn't know where to look. Monacy sprays down two, and that's why you give him the AK. Nico never doubted him, not even for a moment. And VP are left saving their victory. Short-lived here. And after a, a five-round drought, having G2 claw their way back in from 6-1 down to an even half, VP oh. were hoping this was how they could get back to their winning ways. We've seen that so many times. And he's trying to drag them through. Especially at Major's gone by. But, oh, this is awkward. He's getting thrown. A lot of pressure put on, but Modesty's equipped to deal with it. Norbot on a big flank. VP rushed around the map, and luckily enough, Nico has that A site because they're going to come running up Con James. Can he do anything here? Jumping in the air. Modesty down. It's still a trade. And with Nico having this control, VP surely getting it locked out of this round. Yeah, even with the nades coming in, it's not going to be enough to stop that plant, but the backstab. I'll stick the landing, and now it's down to a 1v1, and it's Nico ready. has the info. He knows where Flit's coming from. Fault plant, though. That's Get that. aside, Nico doesn't know. Not for certain. Nico's got to be active here. Waiting right now. Bomb tapped. That's going to draw a peek. Nico just calls his bluff. Starting to move out. He's seen him. He's seen him. That's all the info he needed. Nico closes Ooh. the net, goes swinging wide, but he knows he's done enough to take the round for G2. Yeah, that's a gamble you make on the anti Nico. You have to gamble. They don't have a kit there. So Nico doesn't go swinging. The box's a little wide, but Flick could have been on it. And they're still waiting for aggression. Nico's just checking this long timing. Will he find it? He's looked away, and Fame has the round in the palm of his hand. Oh, Nico's got a funny feeling. Doesn't know. Hooksy dead. Oh. Nico followed up onto his fame. Threads his way through the back line of the G2 ranks, and that leaves them with this three man exec down at lower. VP are pretty light down on this side of the map. But those rotates are coming. The flanks are arriving, and G2 can't go any further. There's no time to win this. Monacy ready for the backstab. Sick. It's a nice shot, sure, but it won't win you the round. VP finally cook up a response here. The whole round, Nico's thinking about that as well. He keeps checking his back and looking for this flank from Fame, but he finds a very nice timing. Fame, strong performance in this map. He's second in the server right now to Nico. And great supportive flash on B from Mira. Comes out as Hunter's entering, so but it won't sway VP setup. Three strong still. G2 have a shot. Norbert, phenomenal anchor down here towards the monster side. Needs to withstand this hit. One kill from the man. Flit now oh. lends a helping hand. And even as Monacy replies, he goes no further. VP will tie this up at 9 all, Chaining together two in a row. In trouble. A feat they've not accomplished in a long while, Monacy. Bloody hell, talk about a combat save. That AWP at least remains a factor for G2 going forward. And even though this is a matchup Hooksy feels very comfortable calling into for G2, I think VP have somewhat changed the, the nature of their game. There's a lot more mid-round movement. There's these gambles over towards upper that you're seeing consistently, where they just trust the double hold down on B. Oh, fame. To let G2 leave a mark. He sits comfortably topping the charts for Virtus Pro and showing no signs of slowing down. Even as Jane will oh. get dealt with, it's all fame in this round. On for the ace. Multi kill after multi kill. This. Monacy tries to make this play. It all hinges on getting past Flit. He's seen him. He wins that no fight. Way. Survives the cross down in the lower. Has a chance at the bomb plant here. VP will not be able to react to that in time. This is the ball rolling for Monacy. A safe plant. Nets him the bomb to play around. 
Fame is one kill shy of the ace. And it's just Monacy left to get past. This re-wrap around awards short. Fame, does he think he hits that timing? Norbert is not considering this. They think they've cleared Monster. They think they've uprooted Monacy. They couldn't be further from the truth. Fame sticking the bomb, but oh! Monacy rips him down! What a read! What a rotation! Electric play from Monacy, and one that has reignited G2! It couldn't have gone better. And they love it. Just sits there and soaks it in. Rounds like that do not come along often. Oh, it just couldn't have been better, could it? Playing the anti-post plant, the bomb is not for him. He forces VP to stick. He's feeling a lot of pressure. I mean, nothing has worked for him. Can't say forever. Nothing has worked for him in this series. And so him and Fame try to re-aggress, oh, but the flash destroys them. Oh. And Hoopsy lays waste to the top site. G2 move in, uncontested, unbothered. They brush VP aside like they're nothing. What a flash. And next set is even hunting before that bomb is planted. G2, they don't just want to win the round. They want to win this series. They want to go to those semis, and they want to do it cleanly. They know they can accomplish that goal if they knock out these guns here and now. hooksy has been calling the shots, but now he's looking to remove everything from the tank of VP. And in with this backstab, the chokehold over Virtus Pro slammed down. VP have nothing, and G2 have it all right there for the taking. And they're going to grab it with both hands. What an opportunity that G2 worked so hard for. We have seen some phenomenal rounds in this series from G2. The superstars performing, Hooksy hitting heads, finding multi-kills out calling Jamie yet again and may I repeat myself G2 have never lost to Virtus Pro they're gonna try and end this with something more up tempo down towards B it certainly looks like it with Nexa right up at the front they will be playing into the closer ranges versus these SMGs That's two pharmacies adorn this bottom site Norbert Ouch. nearly burns alive oh that Ooh. nade's gonna find him and so G2, that's the first kill. That one wets the blade. Now they've got to drive the knife in, and Hooksy looks to do exactly that. Playing it back out through short, he will get overran, overwhelmed. So much info, though. They sacrifice the captain, oh! sure. But the rest of G2 are here to withstand the test of time. And VP is sent packing. Monacy is not alone anymore up on these stages. Nico there alongside him as G2 blaze a trail into the semi-finals. It is not even close, not today. Divine intervention or not, G2 have got VP in the bag right where they want them. This resurgence from Nico continues here in Chengdu and here in China. It feels like G2 are on home soil. They are loving it every second straight to the semis with Maus now. G2 want to do it again. And continued great head-to-head -head versus Virtus Pro. Hooksy has talked a big game on being able to play against this team, but the results, the stats, they prove it. There's one guy who feels comfortable countering Jame, it's him.